It is great to be back in Orlando and officially welcome everyone to the 66th Annual International Convention and Trade Show. On behalf of the dedicated Board of Directors and staff, I'd like to say thank you for choosing AEA to expand your network and continue your professional development. Also, a special thanks to our convention exhibitors and sponsors. These companies help make AEA the premier event for the avionics industry. The AEA staff and board of directors have put together an incredible week for you with a nearly sold out exhibit hall, a jam packed training schedule, plus a full week of outstanding networking and social gathering events. And it all gets started tonight with our first nighter event. We have more than 125 exhibitors here this week with nearly 300 shops from 16 different countries. This morning we have more than 30 new product uh, announcements and this afternoon we'll kick off our training schedule with nearly 100 hours of regulatory, business, and technical training. New this year is a delegates conference on Thursday which aims to provide a voice for designees in our industry and explore ways to improve relationships with the civil aviation authorities. The conference will provide training and pursue expanded access to data and industry standards while encouraging networking and collaboration opportunities for this dedicated group of professionals. We're also continuing our workforce development theme with the addition of several new sessions to help you recruit and retain talent. From hiring veterans to a session hosted by the Association for Women in Aviation Maintenance uh, discussing the opportunities that abound in maintenance and avionics. Be sure to check your show guide for the complete schedule of these and other important workforce topics. Speaking of workforce, general aviation still faces an uphill climb as we compete with technical talent with so many other industries. And while it's encouraging to hear Congress push for GA-specific language in the upcoming FAA reauthorization, we still have a lot to do. AEA recognizes this and is taking action for a more immediate impact. Over the course of the last few years, we've highlighted our workforce development efforts. We've shared the news of our successful products and services, ranging from repairman equivalency for certification and apprenticeship to veteran recruitment partnerships. This year, we're excited to announce the launch of aerocareers.net, a one-stop resource for the next generation of aerospace industry talent. Developed by a team of industry representatives who acknowledge the path to career in aerospace can take many forms, this initi initiative strives to provide clear and simple information for those who aspire to reach a higher altitude. Business owners, avionics technicians, pilots, engineers, marketers, and manufacturers all join the effort to highlight opportunities in aerospace and make the path to success easier to navigate. AeroCareers.net will inform, direct, and educate parents, teachers, counselors, students, career changers, and veterans to resources like scholarships, career listings, industry certifications, and more. For more information, visit the website or check out the postcard that's in your convention bag where you can learn how to re uh, sorry, request materials for your next aviation career event. In addition to this new industry recruiting tool, AEA is amplifying our own efforts with the addition of dedicated workforce development staff. We're going to move the needle even further. Nick Brown will join AEA as our Direct Force, Director of Workforce Development. An Air Force veteran, Nick is the Aviation Electronics Instructor for Kent Career Technical Center in Grand Rapids, Michigan. For more than seven years, he's provided career, academic, and counseling support to high school juniors and seniors, and he's helped certify hundreds of students with the Aircraft Electronics Certification and endorsements. Nick is here this week and will officially join AEA team after completing his academic year and moving his family to the Kansas City area. You'll be able to uh, connect with Nick at any one of our workforce focused sessions. All this, come, all this news comes at the right time as the avionics industry continues to climb out and business remains strong for our shops and manufacturers. Even with inflationary pressures, interest rate hikes, and lingering supply chains, the market has kept its momentum. The AEA's 2022 year-end avionics market report, which totals worldwide business and general aviation avionics sales, reached $2.8 billion. That's a 21% increase in year-end sales compared to last year. And this is the largest annual percentage increase in the 11-year history of our report. During the fourth quarter months, sales increased 31% compared to the same time a year ago, the largest quarterly percentage increase in our report's history. And while it's encouraging to see these numbers, these record-breaking numbers, the industry is still rebounding 
from the economic impact of the last few years. Our 2022 totals still fall short of 2019 when we reported a record $3 billion in total avionics sales. And that was just prior to the end of the ADSB mandate and the start of the international health crisis. We are, however, trending in the right direction with 10 straight quarters of positive gains. Aircraft sales and deliveries are also trending in the right direction, as our friends over at Gamma reported in their recent State of the Industry Address, where all aircraft segments saw increases in shipments and preliminary aircraft deliveries were valued at nearly $27 billion. That's a 6% increase uh, compared to last year. Congratulations to all the companies that are involved in the manufacture and retrofit of airplanes and avionics, as these numbers continue to impress against all the market forces that we face, getting products certified, getting them to market, and getting them installed. For more than six decades, the AEA has been focused on being a global technology-driven association, one with an eye to the future and a profound appreciation of our legacy. After the conclusion of our strategic planning initiative, we shared our new mission and vision. Today, we are excited to launch and reveal our, our new logo. This new mark captures the spirit of the international industry backed by the expertise of aircraft electronics professionals. And it comes at an important time as the association positions itself for the future. As aviation's technology experts in more than 40 countries around the world, our professional community will come to recognize the logo as a source of pride as we develop next generation and safety enhancing technologies. The new logo symbolizes an innovative industry on the move. This is only the third logo in the association's history, and like the others before it, AEA members will be able to display it with pride. Every member of company will receive a new plaque to show their commitment to an organization that represents the best practices and the best interests of small businesses around the world. This week will be evidence of our forward progress, bringing our community of business owners, technicians, manufacturers, distributors, and academia together to put avionics on the world stage for a few days. In that time, I encourage you to experience everything we have to offer from a training and networking perspective. Take advantage of everything and make the most of the show. Thank you. Aero News Network's coverage of the 66th Annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show, live from Orlando, Florida, is brought to you in part by the following sponsors. The future of USB charging power has arrived. Introducing new, ultra-fast charging TA360 USB chargers. Unlock the power of USB Power Delivery PD technology. Max Power. Multiple configurations. In-seat cabin, cockpit and galley USB power and a direct upgrade for all True Blue Power USB chargers, compatible with any USB electronic device. Easy to install, backed by the best. True Blue Power, the USB experts.